Kilo number four, Mexico, Ocean, Germany. Kilo number four, Mexico, what? Kilo number four, Mexico, Ocean, Germany. In for M-O-G. Roger, Roger, and uh, what's the uh, name there? Uh, Roger, name is Gene, Germany, England, Norway, England, and North uh, West The uh, Flux 6400, but what I wanted to check was the SDR application on my cell phone. Uh, Roger that. Uh, I'm copying you uh, probably about 10 over on the Milford uh, PA SDR. So are you on that now, or you have to go to that, or what? Or what? Um, I will have to go to that. I, I just wonder how this sounds. Uh, uh, the, the Maestro uh, uh, has the controlling. Over. Is that the uh, Maestro 6600? 600? Uh, no, no, that's just the uh, uh, separate Maestro controller. Uh, I decided I wanted to take it with me when I go to my uh, summer home this week, uh, or uh, yeah, for a couple of weeks. So I didn't get the 6600, thought about it, but I said, hey, I just get the uh, Maestro and I can take it with me, over. Uh, Roger, what radio are you actually running? Are you running? Well, it's the uh, Flex Radio 6400, over. The Flex uh, 6400, Dodger. Roger. Dodger. Uh, Roger. Flex Radio 6400. And we're running the uh, ACOM uh, 1500 and a uh, double zip uh, antenna with uh, Johnson uh, kilowatt matchbox tuner, over. Roger, Roger. Um, come back and uh, tell me uh, about your antenna for about ten seconds. So let me get uh, let me get your audio uh, in the clear there a little bit and hear it. Okay, this is Kilo Four, Mike Oscar, Dallas, Marietta, Georgia. Antenna plugged with open wire feeder, and it's a double zip, and uh, the feed line uh, is being matched with the Johnson kilowatt matchbox over. Roger, Roger. Now you look like you're about a 2 dB dynamic range, so uh, you might check your ALC to be sure that you're uh, just a mid-scale to two-thirds. You might be just a tad hot on your ALC, Roger. Roger. Yeah, uh, Roger. I don't think it's ALC because I don't have that hooked up. I think it's strictly the uh, compressor in the uh, uh, Maestro. Uh, Roger, I don't know if you can <laughs> that you can deactivate the um, uh, the ALC. I, I think that may be a fixed item, uh, you know, because without that you have no uh, c control as far as your sidebands are concerned. And uh, I'm sure that uh, you know that uh, I don't think you can defeat the uh, ALC, but I could be wrong. Roger that, Roger that. Well, I, you know, my signal's not, uh, you, you know, I, good signal to me is 10 over. If I get a 10 over, I can, uh, I can uh, get in there and know exactly what's happening. But, uh, you know, right now you're about a, about a 6 or 7, and so it's right there at the, at the point. But, uh, uh, you know, like I say, you do have a 2 dB dynamic range uh, or thereabouts, and uh, usually uh, uh, most radios, uh, when you're uh, at that level, you know, unless you're running just a tremendous amount of compression, and usually, you know, the, the thing is that uh, um, the, um, you know, the compressor is uh, uh, a slow attack, slow release, and so uh, even at that point, uh, you can do a ton of compression and still not come up with a 2 dB dynamic range because it just it just can't do that. I mean, it's you know, it's, it doesn't attack quick enough and it doesn't release 
uh, quick enough. About the only way that you can get up in the, those areas uh, that much uh, crunch in the audio is uh, through uh, limiting. So the limiter, uh, the difference between the compressor and the limiter is that the, comp the limiter has an extremely fast attack and release time. And that's, that's how you can build up that, uh, you know, into that 2 dB dynamic range. So usually when I see 2 dB above two and a half, you know, then I'm looking probably at uh, perhaps the AOC being pushed pretty hard. Roger. All right, Roger. Uh, Roger. Well, okay. Uh, I've gone into the menu setup. I was on the uh, DX setting, which I seem to like, but uh, I was on the DX setting. Now I'm normal, and, uh, you know, my, uh, my audio is not uh, being compressed as heavily as it was. Over. Yeah, yeah, it looks a lot cleaner that way. And, and to me personally, you know, I love a fat signal, but I, I like a, a, a fat signal with um, finesse, you know, so you're not uh, really, it doesn't sound like you're up against the wall. You're just uh, fat, you know. You know. Okay, so given that you don't have the signal, you'd really like to make the call. What do you think the... Uh uh, I have looking at your audio on a, uh, a VU meter, and uh, I can see uh, you know how that that meter reacts, and I see that uh, last transmission was about a three dB uh, dynamic range. Roger. Roger. Roger, name here's Jim Julie at India Mike. And the thing is, uh, you know, um, I'm looking at the, like I say, a view meter, uh, and um, well, I've got noise, so I can't really tell what your lower end is. In other words, I can see, uh, you know, you're at least uh, 4 dB above, above my noise, so I can see uh, if a, your signal is, uh, f uh, dynamic range is 4 dB or less, but I can't tell you exactly how less since uh, noise is there. And what, the, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the peaks of your audio, which are set for zero, and then when you cease speaking, I'm looking at my noise level. And right now, uh, like I say, you're doing me about a, uh, about a 5 dB, 4 dB over my noise level. So uh, when you see speaking, my meter drops to a minus 4. And uh, so, you know, those are the, I can't really tell when you get to a 10 dB dynamic range, which is uh, the normal situation for an unprocessed uh, signal. Roger. Roger. Uh, Roger, okay, well, now I understand what you're saying. And yes, I would agree with you that uh, trying to diagnose uh, any sort of uh, dynamic range uh, with only uh, 4 dB headroom between the noise and the peak of the signal would be impossible. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, I can find you uh, one day when uh, the 40 meter and all the rest of the bands recover. And uh, we can try it again. What I'd like to do is go on my uh, cell phone. I'm going to have to cut off the uh, maestro, even though I'm supposed to be able to handle it, uh, handle two inputs. Uh, I don't. So uh, let me cut off the maestro and I'll come back on the cell phone, okay? Uh, Roger that. And like I say, uh, you know, I can see clearly uh, if you're, when you get up to a, a 2 dB dynamic range or a 3 dB dynamic range, I can see that that perfectly. But when, you know, when you're uh, like a 10 dB dynamic range, I can't see that bottom end because of the, because of the noise. But go ahead and uh, uh, run the other radio and uh, or, or audio input and let's see what that does. It does. Uh, bottom end kind of fell out, and when I was hearing you, I thought you might be slightly low on frequency. Might be slightly low on frequency. We're on 7188.0000. Okay, 
I really didn't know if you were on the uh, telephone, but, uh, you know, you got to press the screen, you got to press that screen to set it up. So, uh, Roger. Now my uh, my signal to noise is uh, you're about a three TV over. Uh, the audio sounded it didn't sound uh, muffly. It sounded uh, it sounded pretty good uh, as much as I could hear. Roger. Roger. Hey, Roger. Okay. Well, this is zero four. I got the call. Ah, you caught me on a cup of coffee. Hang on just a minute. There we go. Um, it, uh, check your uh, ALC with your, uh, your new setup and make sure that uh, your audio uh, is up where it should be. Um, uh, just, just curious if uh, you know you you were hot enough on that uh, that new uh, setting, new situation, uh, you know. But your ALC will tell you uh, exactly what what you need to do there. Wanting to run mid scale to two thirds, Roger. Roger. Hello, Roger. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to Uh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, I, it's sounding pretty good, you know, and, and you do want to uh, probably not uh, compress a bunch for remote uh, incoming signal because, uh, you know, you are subject to the noise gods uh, as you hang out with, uh, you know, out in, out in uh, the uh, far uh, flung distances of uh, <laughs> the earth. So, yeah, you know, hey, you don't have, a, you know, a lot of uh, soundproofing there probably, and so you wouldn't want to be sucking up uh, the cows in the South 40, Roger. 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 Again, Gene, I can't uh, really hear it that well, but I think uh, I think you're uh, you're uh, you know doing a good job there. Uh, if uh, you want to check out your audio as near as what I can hear, if you went to um, YouTube and did a call letter search for Kilo Charlie Nine Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO Vlog page, and uh, we are recording between now and five. So on our Vlog page, uh, you'll be looking for an air check called My Group Air Check Five Twenty Four Nineteen. My group air check five twenty four nineteen. Roger. And uh, let me give you the call again. It's Kilo Charlie Nine Victor Kilo Victor. Uh, let me drop down to a hundred watts, and uh, uh, you can see what's happening here. We're at a hundred watts right now. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. This is a hundred watts, and that's a KW. So that's what I'm facing. Roger, Roger. Roger. Okay, Roger. Well, give me your Roger. Uh, you go to YouTube and do the uh, call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor and that will take you to the uh, Arcuso Vlog page and on that page uh, you'll be looking for uh, Arcuso entitled My Group Air Check 52419. My Group Air Check 52419. Roger. So 
Lord, be Lord. Get the my group uh, five two four one nine. Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. Roger, Roger, sir, and uh, that's uh, 5-24-19, today's date. Uh, so uh, we'll say threes for now. Uh, thanks for checking in, and uh, maybe we'll have uh, better conditions next Friday if you wanted to uh, give us a shout. Uh, and, uh, you know, I uh, always like to get uh, the best recordings possible, uh, but Mother Nature sometimes has other ideas. <laughs> so uh, threes for now, and uh, you have a, a real good uh, Friday afternoon and, and a great weekend. Uh, threes. This is KC9VKV and the uh, QSO Vlog Network between now and 5 uh, live. We're recording uh, from 3.30 uh, to 5 and uh, then post the whole thing up on YouTube and uh, incidentally it does take a couple of days for us to post it. Uh, you know we usually are sooner than that but uh, I just want to give myself a little uh, leeway there so we just say within a couple of days we'll have it posted uh, up on YouTube and uh, that would would be for the call letter search kc 9 vkv and the uh, uh, today's uh, QSO vlog is entitled Mike Group Air Check 52419. This is a KC9 VKV.